Hello and welcome to the Bishop Scott Gerard Show. Listen, we got a lot going on. We're just going to talk briefly about solutions, what we can do. But before we do that, I just want to thank everybody that supported me uh, with the new recording. Humble yourself and pray. Uh, it's just been met with unprecedented success as far as any of my music that has been released. And so I just thank God for it. And I thank God for you, you, and especially you, because I couldn't have did it without you. OK, so thank you. Take a listen again. I'll leave the description in the link so you can click on it and check it out. Humble yourself and pray. BSG. All right. So let's talk about what's going on. All right. We know that we got a war going on, a real war. This ain't just no skirmish. This ain't no exercise. This is real stuff that's going on. And this is already out of hand. It was out of hand before it even started. But I had been telling every one of you to prepare yourself or to get yourself ready for what's to come in the future. And uh, I even said that this year uh, is going to be worse than the previous year. And I got news for you. We're going to have stuff that's going on from now until 2025. And I told you this already. And the Lord has revealed it to me exactly everything. But 2025 is what I keep on getting in my spirit. So when I, he let me know, I'll let everybody know. But what we need to do right now is pray. Because prayer is the only answer. That's the only thing that's going to help us at this point. Uh, they they trying to negotiate. Uh, they trying to do all type of different stuff to prevent this from going there any further. And uh, I really, you know, I'm not here to talk about really to discuss the details of it. You know, I don't like war. You know, but sometimes you have to go to war for for a purpose though, not just because you want to take something over or something like that. You know. But anyway, I don't want to discuss all of that. I just want us to pray. Humble ourselves and pray, just like the song says. That's what we got to do. Second Chronicles 7.14 If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn for their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal their land. We definitely need a healing in the land, not just from the big thing that's been going on for the last two years, but we need healing in the land for some real other stuff that can actually end this world. Okay, so we got to pray and uh, I'm going to go ahead and pray now, but I want you to pray in your secret closet to yourself. Talk to your God. Ask him for the solution. Ask him for peace. Ask him that if he ain't going to allow peace, let your family be protected. Let your loved ones be protected because we need his covering right now like never before. And not, you know, we got that thing going on overseas, but, you know, we got stuff going on right where we at, right in our neighborhoods. Sometime in our own houses, we got uh, wars going on. Right? So we want peace. And the only way you're going to get peace is to involve God in it. There's no other way. Because always when you have uh, a upheaval or wrongdoing or evil, it's not going to be peaceful. Because God is not involved with any of those things. So let's pray right quick and then I'll let you go. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you on today, God. We thank you for being kind and merciful to us. We say hallelujah to your name, God. And God, we ask you, Lord, with a bowed down head and a humble heart and boldly ask you that you would just bring peace throughout this world. Let there be peace here. Let there be peace there. Let there be peace everywhere, even in our own minds, God. Let it be peace. We need your peace, God. You are the Prince of Peace. Show yourself strong in this hour. We thank you. We praise you. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen, go check out the new song, Humble Yourself and Pray. BSG is on YouTube, 
Spotify, iTunes, and every other place where you can listen to music. God is blessing, and I, I guarantee if you listen to it, you will be blessed. Um, so that's all I got to say for today. I'll be back with you pretty soon. This is Bishop Scott Gerard. I love the Lord, and I love you too. Peace. Thank you.